North Central Pennsylvania, there lies a monument to the past, to the power of natural forces, and a spectacular feat of engineering. The Kinzu Skywalk, a remnant of the world-renowned viaduct. Construction of the stone piers began in 1881 under the watchful eye of Thomas Kane, a Union officer in the American Civil War and president of the New York Lake Erie and Western Coal and Railroad Company. In only 94 days, more than three million pounds of iron was used to build 20 support towers. The viaduct soared more than 300 feet above the forest floor. At the time, the Kinzu Viaduct was the longest and tallest railroad bridge in the world and was called by many the eighth wonder of the world. The viaduct offered a brilliant shortcut. Locomotives could now transport lumber, oil, and coal across the deep valley in the Allegheny Wilderness to markets in Erie and Buffalo. Due to gusty winds through the valley, trains had to slow to five miles per hour when crossing the viaduct. But even at this slow speed, Weekend excursion trains provided a thrilling adventure for a dollar per person. Market demands increased and trains grew larger and heavier to keep up. The iron viaduct couldn't support the extra loads. By May of 1900, only 18 years after it was built, construction began to replace the iron columns with stronger steel towers. In a few short months, the Kinzu Viaduct reopened for traffic. And for 75 more years, freight and passenger trains made the slow but exciting journey across the deep valley. Eventually, heavier trains, the slow speed limit, and maintenance costs took their toll. The Kinzu Viaduct was closed to all traffic in 1959. Four years later, the Commonwealth purchased the viaduct and surrounding acreage to create Kinzu Bridge State Park. <laughs> Sightseeing tours began again in 1987, bringing visitors from near and far. After decades of heavy use, the aging viaduct showed signs of wear. During a routine inspection in 2002, engineers found that sections of the viaduct had severely rusted. The park closed the viaduct to all traffic. Major restoration was underway when disaster struck. In July 2003, an F1 tornado with wind speeds reaching 100 miles per hour slammed into the Kinzu Viaduct, ripping 11 steel towers from their concrete bases. In the end, only nine towers were left, looming over the mangled remains of the viaduct. Although partly destroyed by the tornado, the park reimagined the viaduct turning this disaster into an opportunity to create a spectacular new attraction. The Kinzu Skywalk. Standing hundreds of feet in the air, the Skywalk offers breathtaking views of the valley below. The Kinzu Viaduct has inspired awe for more than a century. Today, you can walk along the tracks that once hauled lumber, 
oil, coal, and passengers, and experience this extraordinary structure mm -hmm. that has stood the test of time. And here is the last passenger, Odin Pilak. Amazing. Lupa! Lupa! I see you remaining from the old bridge. Did you see some? Here we are on the Kinzu Bridge. It's amazing what a Force One tornado could do. Just toppled everything to the left. Have I been good? Very good.